A warm welcome to our very first world premiere in 2021 and a happy belated new year for Mercedes-Benz. At Mercedes, we will do what's in our power to make 2021 an outstanding year in the most positive and most progressive way. The MBUX hyperscreen is the center of attention, the center of control, and of course, the center of entertainment. And it is the biggest screen ever mounted in a series-built Mercedes. You don't search for functions. They will find you. The screen appears lightweight, almost floating in the center of the car. That said, we thought we'd take it to where it belongs. Ready? Welcome to Zero Gravity. Hello everybody and welcome. Allow me to introduce the Hyperscreen. To me, it's a milestone in the merging of analog and digital design. This is a jewel of the interior and a true work of art. Three separate screens beneath one gently curved glass surface. It looks and feels like a single entity. This is the futuristic design of the pure EV mode and its different interpretation of displaying key functionalities like boosting, recuperation, or G-Force. We call the G-Force element the EQ Puck, or Flying Saucer. And key information is easy to understand and nice to look at. For me, the Hyperscreen's clear, minimalist design and strong anchor points make it intuitive and straightforward to use. Now let's have a look at what's inside. The MBUX hyperscreen reinvents how we interact with the car. It's stunning on the outside, super intelligent on the inside. It's a nerve center that connects everyone in the car with the world inside and outside. What you see behind is what makes the, this new level of user interaction so special. Our goal was to create a UI that gives our customer direct intelligent access to all the functions they need in any given situation. In other words, customer-centric user interface. It was important for us to create an interface that shall not add distraction or complexity. The result is the next level of fully intuitive user experience. The Hyper screen offers amazing functionality. You have apps, vehicle functions, navigation, climate control and entertainment. The list goes on. We call it zero layer principle. It brings all the apps and functions into the fluid, proactive user interface. You can activate the functions you need from one screen. The all important navigation map is always visible in the center. Beneath it, there are controls for the phone, entertainment or the features that suits the specific situation. The system knows what you want and need. And you know what? That's why the zero layer is based on emotional intelligence. The system learns with AI and adds more individual functions on the top as it's required, or places them in the background if they are not being used. In this zero layer of hyper screen, MBUX also uses AI to process data sets such as position, temperature, and time. Its intelligence also assists you with route planning and charging to help you get most out of your electric mobility experience. Lots of innovation is focused very much on the driver. But MBUX has something more for everyone in the car. There are innovations for all passengers, but especially for the one in the front, because the front seat passenger has their own screen incorporated into the hyper screen. We call it co-driver display. And they can also see all the relevant vehicle information. 
And there is even more in store for passengers. There are entertainment services with market-specific features. At the front seat of the passenger, can share content with anyone else in the car. In some markets, it's even possible to watch the TV. On one side of the passenger car, passenger can see and watch the videos while traveling by using the Bluetooth headphones, while on the other side, intelligent camera-based locking concept prevents the driver from looking at the passenger display to avoid distraction. And before you feel too sorry, for the driver, they get a pretty attractive view too, albeit less distracting. It has an exclusive EQ design and the same easy to use interface as it was introduced with the S-Class and together with the full augmented reality. So just to round it off, the hyper screen is a natural progression of the MBUX, taking it to the next level of sophistication and ease of use. The principle of the zero layer is a completely new and super intelligent way of achieving seamless human-machine interaction. And the innovative use cases enhance the EQ experience for the driver and all the passengers. This is customer centricity and digital thinking of 2021. There you have it. The best of featuring the new MBUX hyperscreen, making its debut in the upcoming EQS and later coming to the other Mercedes models. This is a fascinating piece of technology with many great new features. Before I go, I want to show you one cool new feature that will also be the part of the latest MBUX generation. As a working title, we call it Mercedes travel knowledge. But you know what? You can believe me that our marketing is already working on a fancier name. But let me try now. Hey Mercedes, what can you tell me about this building? The Stratosphere Tower is one of the most famous landmarks of Las Vegas and has been for many decades. The rides and attractions on the top of the 350 meter high tower are quite spectacular and especially popular. Thank you, Mercedes. So as you can see, our system is smart and it works in most of the major cities of the world. This new MBUX feature evaluates the map material and supplies the appropriate information when the driver or passenger asks for it. The information then appears on the respective displays. Well, as long as I'm here virtually, maybe I'll go to play the slots for a bit. That's a safe, solitary activity, right? So stay healthy and see you soon.